This morning, a Cincinnati death row inmate who's claimed his innocence for decades is getting a new chance at freedom. I feel sorry for the family, but I'm a victim as well, and my life has been took. The now 70-year-old Elwood Jones was sentenced to death for the 1994 murder of Rhoda Nathan, who was found beaten to death inside a Cincinnati hotel room. But a judge recently overturned Jones's conviction, ordering a new trial after finding the prosecution withheld evidence, including eyewitness accounts of other potential suspects. Justice for Rhoda Nathan doesn't mean convicting and trying to execute somebody who didn't kill her. The prosecutor insists her office did nothing wrong, saying the opinion of one trial court judge operating beyond her authority does not change that fact. Jones is now living at his sister's home with a GPS monitor. He spoke out yesterday, sharing how he spent part of his 27 years in prison, making quilts and stuffed animals. I've given the people who have helped and reached out and helped me in this. It's just my way of saying thank you. Meanwhile in Florida, a different fight for justice making headlines. <laughs> After 34 years behind bars for a crime he didn't commit, Sidney Holmes walked out of prison a free man, a judge throwing out his 400-year sentence for armed robbery. I can't put in for I don't it's, it's all along, he maintained his innocence, leading to the case being reopened. Officials then confirmed Holmes did have an alibi and a witness had misidentified him. As for Elwood Jones back in Ohio, his new trial is set for next February. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.